Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, thanks. Welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us. I want you now to meet Goldie. He's been in a gang since he was 17 years old. He says he's murdered over 15 people and doesn't regret a thing. Uh, why not? Because if I regret it, I can't do it again and again. It'd just be in my mind. If it ain't in my mind, I can go out and do it again and again and again. You know what I'm saying? Why do you want to do it? Man, it ain't a choice. It's just something to come to mind. Bang! I have, uh... I have lived a pretty long time, okay? And, uh... I'll tell you, I've lived 51 years, and there are moments in my life that I've been angry. There are probably moments in my life that someone's insulted me. Moments in my life that I just get so angry I want to smack a wall, okay? But I can't ever think of a time that I would get so angry at someone that I want to want to pick up a gun and go bang. So what's the? Why don't I want to do that and you do? Why is it that when you get angry, you want to just kill someone? Because you're 51. Yeah. And I'm 21. Right. And I got more energy. I believe now you got more energy. But I'll tell you what, I know this is hard, but I was 21 once. And I didn't want to kill anyone when I was 21. And I didn't want to shot. kill... You what? You probably was shot. I was shot? You probably was shot. Oh, shot. Okay, you have a child, I understand. Yes, I do. If it's just you and me talking here, do you honestly believe this is a good world for your child to be in where everyone just goes around shooting each other? I think it's a perfect world. You wouldn't be upset if someone shot your child? Man, I'd be more than upset. It'd just make me be a better person than I am now, a better killer. So, it's not okay if someone shoots your child, but it's okay if you shoot someone else? I did not say it's not right for someone to shoot my child. It wouldn't be okay. You know, I have, I think back like, damn, I just lost a shorty. Time to go make another. Maybe he'll be better. <laughs> How's that bogus? How do you think that's bogus? You what? How do you think that's bogus? Well, don't, don't intimidate him. I'm but he's got, okay. But he's, oh, yeah, well, I'll tell you what, because he probably grows up in a home where he's taught to love people to care about people, to respect people. And you... and you know what? Here's the truth. There is no question that you could beat the hell out of him. You could probably beat the hell out of me. No question about it. But you know what? I would bet every penny I have ever made in this life that he will grow up and have a happier life than you will. Because he's not living every day. Ah, uh, who's gonna get me today? I gotta get somebody else. I never worry about that. If I worried about that, I'd be somewhere hiding in the house. I wouldn't be on top of national TV right now. You know what I'm saying? So you're confident that no one's gonna get you? Hey, if they get me, I'm congratulating them. First, I'm gonna laugh, because it's gonna be funny. Second of all, I'm gonna congratulate because a thousand tried to get me before this person had. Okay. So congratulate that person. What would it take? And I'm just talking here now, okay? Because I don't want you to hurt me, all right? Oh, I, know I know, I know. But what would it take if I didn't know you? I'm just walking down the street. What would I have to do, and we don't know each other, for you to kill me? For example, if I just walked up to you and said, damn, those are silly looking pants. Damn, what? you'd be dead. Just like that. If I don't just like, like that. If I don't like your pants, I'm dead? You assaulted me. You assaulted my pants, first of all, because I bought them. <laughs> So that's okay. You would kill someone because they made fun of your pants. I'll beat you to death first. Because I like to see torch. Tell me about the people you've killed. Female or male? A female. Female, I look at it the first. I looked at it like, damn, I just killed the female. Then I look at it like, this shit did it to me. 
She shouldn't do what she tried. If she tried to stab me, which I have had a case like that, you know what I'm saying? If I did something that she figured it wasn't proper, she tried to take care of business, she didn't succeed. So, hey, I went ahead and do what I had to do. You know what I'm saying? Have you been in jail yet? Yes, I've been locked up. Why? How long were you in for? I was in locked up for about four and a half months. Of the 15 people you said you have murdered, how many did you go to jail for? See, that's the problem. I never told nobody. You keep your mouth shut until now, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you be up on top of the stage like me telling it. You know what I'm saying? I have no remorse for those people. If you they were, had no remorse for me when they tried to do me. If you were really a man, why wouldn't you accept responsibility for what have, what have done? I mean, a coward is one that does something and then runs away trying not to get caught. But if you're really a man, why don't you say, you know what? I killed that person, but that person was going to get me, and I'm not, as you said, I have no remorse. I'm a man. I'll take responsibility for what I've done. Come and get me. That's a stupid ass person. That is a stupid ass person. Excuse me, youngsters. That is a stupid person. Why? Because ain't nobody gonna do no more murder and then gonna tell it about it. You know what I'm saying? That's stupid. That's like, man, that's like giving you a cookie and taking it back to your body off and say, ha ha. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Oh, you don't have it. Oh, you don't have it. Okay, yes. Why did you get involved in a gang in the first place? Excuse me? Why did you get involved in a gang in the first place? Yeah, how'd you first... Good question. How'd you first get involved in a gang? When I first saw somebody got their face shot off. I loved it. <laughs> how old were you? Hmm. I said I was about 16 and a half. It took me about six months later to make up my mind. I kept thinking about it like, damn, that was cold. Splat. And I started thinking like, man, that's what I want to do. This is an incredible story. I wish I could tell you he's an actor. I'm an actor? He's not. I said, I wish I could tell you you were an actor. He's not. He's a real person. He's a real person. And he's living here in the United States of America. And I got to tell you, for everyone like him, there are a whole bunch more. We'll be right back. <laughs> 